This video here is to teach you how to troubleshoot your sequencer system. So if you have a Dimension 1 SPA that has a separate control panel like this, it doesn't have to be blue like this, but it's the same concept, then you have a sequencing system in your SPA. And behind the headrest of that lounge chair, this is behind there. You have your own PC board that controls that lounge. And it basically controls six of these solenoid valve assemblies. So your spa will have six of these. I just have one to show you how to troubleshoot it. Okay, so if your spa is between 2000 and 2014, it runs off of 120 volts. So the incoming power is 120 and your transformer is 120. If you have a 2015 to nowadays, it runs off of 230 volts. So you'll have 230 incoming and your transformer is different because it takes 230 volts. Everything else is the same. Same PC board, same solenoids, control panel. It's all the same except for those two differences. Now, the first thing that happens to everybody is they see that their control panel is blank, not lighting up, buttons don't work, <clears throat> so they automatically assume they need to replace this. That's not the case. It may be sometimes, but it rarely is. So what you want to do is you want to access your PC board, and you have a tiny little fuse in here. I'll take these out just so you could see it. There is a tiny little fuse in here and it's clear glass so most of the time you could see through it to see if it's blown or not. But if you can't, then you just take your meter, you set it to check voltage. So my meter just checks whatever voltage but if you have the option to set it to something, you could set it to 120 or 230 depending on the gear of your spa. So, Basically what you do is you set it to check voltage and you put one probe on one side of the fuse and one on the other. And if it reads zero volts, then it's a good fuse. If it reads 120 or 230, depending on your power supply, then it is a bad fuse. So if this fuse blows, it wipes out the whole seat. So nothing works. This will wipe out when you turn the jets on with your main control panel it still won't turn the jets on in this seat. Now the main reason that these fuses blow is because you have one or more bad solenoid. So these solenoids just screw in and out of the assembly and they have, they connect to this row right here. So obviously I just have one set, but there's six of them usually. So the way to check if your solenoid is bad is you set your voltmeter to ohms, which is basically a, I don't know if you can see this, but a little horseshoe looking thing. If yours has numbers on it that you have to set it to something, set it to 200 ohms. And you are just going to check, doesn't matter which probe goes where, but you're just going to check each pair. And if they don't have 25 ohms or more each then it's a bad solenoid so you're going to go down the line and if you come across one bad one don't just stop there test all of them because there's a good chance that more than one are bad if that's the case obviously replace the fuse replace the bad solenoids and you should be good to go if you do that and it still does not work your transformer might have blown as well as the fuse. So now that you have everything else that's good, I'm going to show you how to test your transformer. So put it back. So your transformer has an incoming and an outgoing. Basically it steps down the voltage. So what you want to do is in your situation, you're probably going to have to pull the connectors off to do this because there's limited space but you're gonna take these white clips off. If I could get... 
Now you have access to the back of the wires where the wires connect to the connector. So in this case, this is 120 volts. So with the power on, obviously, you, you set it to volts. <clears throat> you have to push pretty hard because there's barely any metal to work with. But you're going to stick it in there and you should be getting 120 volts in this situation incoming. And then you check the output, which is the other one. And you should be getting 26 volts, no matter what, 26 or more. If you don't get 26 volts, your transformer is bad. Now in this case, same aspect, but the two black wires are the incoming. So this is for the 2015 and newer. This is your 230 volt transformer. So the two black wires are your incoming. So you should have 230 volts and your two whites are your output. So you should have 26 volts here. So if you don't get the 26 volts here, your transformer is blown also. So let's see here. And if for some reason you don't get the 120 incoming or the 230 incoming, un incoming your actual PC board is bad. Also, if all that stuff works out, you're going to check voltage to each of these solenoid outputs with the jets on. So you're going to turn the jets on and check these. And each of these are supposed to get 26 volts also. If one or more of them don't have 26 between the pair, your PC board is bad. So let's just kind of go through this. I know it's a lot to deal with, but if your fuse reads 120 or 230 volts across the two ends, it's a bad fuse. If your solenoids with ohms, if you check across the two and they have less than 25 ohms, your solenoid is bad. Transformer, if you, if you have 120 or 230 coming in, but there's less than 26 volts output, your transformer is bad. Now your PC board, if you have one or more pairs that give off less than 26 volts when the jets are on, your PC board is bad. Also, if it doesn't have the incoming power to the transformer, it's also a bad PC board. Control panel. If everything here checks out, but your control panel is still blank and not working, then it's a bad control panel. And if everything here checks out, even the control panel, but it still doesn't work, you're data cable may be bad. Your data cable connects from here to the main PC board. So that's, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, I know it's kind of a lot to take in at once, but if you have any questions, call the guys at Easy Spa Parts and they'll be welcome. They'll welcome you in and help you out.